technology, but I do know that there are many parts of our country that still have network challenges and connectivity issues. How have you resolved that then if you're going to use uh, technology through the tablets and, and other um, you know, uh, technology to do this work? What we've done, and you are right to say that internet challenges are bound to occur because we are going to expect the enumerators to sync data in real time when they collect them from the respondents. In view of that, we've done two things. One, we've engaged with NCA. They've given us information on the network connectivity for the different um, telecos across the country. So we know where 4G works, we know where 3G works by different types of um, networks, and also where we don't have internet connectivity at all for all the three major networks that we have. In view of that, we are not expecting syncing of data via internet as the only option for getting data to head office. We have Bluetooth mechanism where the enumerators without internet, with Bluetooth, if they get into contact with their supervisors, the supervisors can then sync the data to HQ. And in areas where it would even be difficult for supervisors to sync data to um, the headquarters after receiving it from the um, enumerators, we are having district IT offices. As I, as I indicated, for the purposes of the census, we have 272 statistical card districts. But because of internet challenges that we have across the country, we are recruiting 476 district IT officers so that they can work closely with the enumerators and supervisors. They would pick the data, move to a place where there is connectivity, and then the data gets to head office. So these are the two um, interventions that we are instituting to ensure that data moves from the enumerators to HQ in real time, either through Bluetooth by the supervisors or through the district IT offices.